All right, let's rock and roll. Morning. How we doing? Get the day going. It's a beautiful day. So I'm Keegan Smith. I'm an electrician here at Any Hour Services. I've been working here about six months now. Greatest company that you could ask to work for. Heading to a customer named Greg this morning. See how we can help him out. No doorstep. How we doing? I've got a, a bath I'm fan. And the bathroom fan that, that we, you guys, you know, we bought, so you can just replace it. Okay. I'll show you, let me show you the one I bought. Perfect. <laughs> you upgrading for quieter fan? Yeah, just quieter one that works. That's, that's 20 years old, 25 years old, so. Just gonna, I mean, as far as this, we're just installing, right, so. Yep, just... and where you have the same fan as before, the same shape and everything, it should be pretty simple. That's what they were saying. You always bring some stuff with you, even if you don't need it. Keep things nice and tidy here. Stay up there. Just pop sometimes. Vent duct. plastic piece here, call it an RC50 and helps keep those wires nice and protected from the sharp metal. I always try to use new wire nuts when I'm doing new connections. That way this thing won't go anywhere. We got the heater and we got the fan. Hold it into place. New bathroom fan. Cleanup's pretty quick. Bath fans in. Oh, it is? Yeah. Nice. On to the next one. So we're just leaving Greg's house, put in a new bath fan for him in the upstairs master bathroom. They're pretty happy with the fan, and overall, I think, put another good job behind any hour and have a loyal customer, so. Just heading to our next job. It's also here in Sandy. It looks like she's having some issues with one of her lights shorting out or popping every time they try to turn it on, so. Looks like we're actually gonna be in a landlord-tenant situation, so we're just meeting with the tenant right now. See what we can do and talk to the landlord and get it all sorted out. Gotta love it. Hey, so what's, been, what's been going on? Okay. It pops. Okay. And the light up here will flicker. Have you seen any sparks or just the noise? Yeah, just the noise. I like all the artwork. Oh, yeah. um, that's Diane's work actually. Really? Yeah. The electrical is right over there. Beautiful. Yep. So I'll let you guys get started on changing it. Awesome. I'll come grab you when, when I get to that point. Careful. Only one wire per breaker, so that's good. Just to go through one breaker at a time and make sure we're getting proper voltage readings. Infrared heat readings here. Uh, we did some readings in the panel. Everything looked pretty good downstairs. Took apart the switch box. 
Yeah. As we were pulling the switch that controls the light and fan in there away from the box, uh, one of the screws actually came right off the switch with its mounting plate. So like I suspected, the switch has just been overused. Put together an option for a new switch and we'll uh, give the landlord a call. Because it looks like it is just a, a faulty light switch. It would just be a matter of replacing that to fix the problem. Okay, so we're just going to pop in a new switch for her and it should solve their problem. And we have light. When you turn it on or turn it off or touch the switch at all, it would make that connection kind of iffy, which is why the lights would flicker. Oh wow. So. <laughs> So it could have potentially. Yeah, every time you hear that pop, that's actually a spark coming behind the, <laughs> behind the switch. Just left the last job, went ahead and installed a new light switch for him. Everything was working great after that. And now we're heading to Salt Lake to do a, an electrical safety inspection for another one of our VIP members. We're just gonna park on this side. Hey, are you Paul? Yes. We're doing an electrical inspection. Yeah. Okay. And I'm here too. We'll just start on this end, make our way through the basement. A lot of these plugs just off of the edge of the house are probably not grounded. That one's not. I like to make sure that the switches aren't loose. So on this one, you can actually hear a little bit of a pop. The GFI plug, it does look like an older style. They re recommend that these get replaced um, about every 10 years or so. And here we've got laundry room. Things are wired correctly, so this plug is grounded. We have the two green lights up to the panel here. Pop. Looks like we've got like some discoloration on the neutrals. We do have a double circuit on this. But we're looking good on temperatures. So that's not grounded. Improperly wired three-way. Okay. For the most part, things do look pretty good around the house. So he wants to wait a little bit to make his decision. We'll most likely be out there in the near future to do some of that work for him. Now we're heading to fabulous Ogden. It says our customer is having a light in the front of his house that won't turn off because of some weird wiring. So we're gonna go find out what that means and see if we can get that turned off for him and get rid of fire hazard. Hey, how are we doing? I saw something in the, the notes about the light wouldn't go off or? Let me show you. Once we got it in, we know if this one's down and this one's up, it'll turn that light on. And it was on. It went like that, and it didn't go off. So we're playing with it. We couldn't get it to turn off. So I had to unhook it. Okay, well, I mean, we'll, I'll be in and out playing with the switches here for a minute while I'm testing the voltage to see what we got going on. What do we got here? A piece of Romex. Might be a good idea to go open that switch box and see what's going on in there. That other wire that has the ground on it is like decades newer than all the wiring in that box. So somewhere there's a, a buried junction. So in that switch box, like I said, they each have like a, a lead going up and then they have like, they're jumped together on another power that goes down the wall. But well, we got it. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's a wrap, ladies and gentlemen. This could be a game changer for you. Oh, it rotates. Oh, yeah. They just are by battery, so it makes it easy. <laughs> wow, thank you. You guys uh, enjoy the rest of your evening. And... Yeah. All right, thank you. Yeah. The last job of the evening up here in Ogden 
pretty weird wiring situation. Very old home with original wiring dated all the way back to the late 1930s. The combination of wires got a little mixed up and it had to be just right for everything to work out. So we were able to get the right combination put back together and get that light fixture working for him. I would say it was a pretty successful day, able to solve a couple of problems of the day and give knowledge to and help every person we visited today. So that's, that's really the end goal. Well, thanks for riding along. That's a day in the life of an any-hour electrician.